Hello, in this video we are going to be implementing the medal system. So at the moment we've got this little section here that is blank and what we'll be doing is loading in a bronze, silver, gold or platinum medal depending on what the user score is. So if we go to our good old definitions file, so definition.hpp and what we want to do is create some for some reason on echo for, for me it just disappears sometimes we want to create a few defines for the metal sprites so metal images I should say because they're not sprites at the moment they're just images we're going to do hash define bronze underscore metal underscore file path and this will be resources res for slash bronze dash metal dot png just need three more instances so we'll have one for the silver medal one for the gold medal and one for the platinum medal little fun fact in the olympics the gold medal is prim primarily silver the majority of it isn't gold because if they I think the figure was if they were to actually give out as many gold medals as they did in the London 2012 Olympics and if they were real gold they would cost them something like 40 million pounds so it's majority silver I'm pretty sure it's over 90 percent but like by far the the vast majority of gold medal is actually silver so just for I'll tell you about that fun fact that most of the gold medal medal winners actually have um, silver medals and this is platinum and now we're gonna scroll down to the bottom and we are going to create some um, defines for the different barriers for achieving these medals so bronze underscore medal underscore score so the score that you need to get to get the bronze medal is zero so you're always gonna at least get a bronze medal just to make people feel better we're gonna have a silver medal and this is gonna be five Gold will be 25 and platinum will be 100. So bronze, I mean, this is going to be gold, platinum. And now we can actually start implementing this in our game over state. If we go to the game over state header file and we just need one thing in here, and this is going to be a sprite for metal, like so. And now go to the CPP file. So in the CPP file, what we are going to be doing is actually constructing this up. But before we do that, we need to load in the different assets. So if you scroll down, copy and paste this a few times, let's close down. Need one more instance. And this is going to be not game over body. It's going to be bronze metal. Bronze metal this is going to be silver metal this is going to be gold metal it's going to be called gold metal we still need to change the file path defines so platinum metal and this is going to be bronze not metal score file path this is going to be Silver underscore metal file path. This is going to be gold underscore metal file path, and this is going to be platinum underscore metal file path. So now we just need to set the texture for our metal. So scroll down all at the bottom. For this, we just do if the score is greater than or equal to platinum metal file path we're just going to do it in reverse because this way we don't have to technically do a no file path should be the metal score you don't have to do a check for the bronze because if it doesn't meet the platinum the gold the silver by default it's just bronze otherwise we would have to do a check for that particular one so we just do underscore metal dot set texture and the texture is going to be data. So we're using the asset manager dot get texture. Texture 
and for this the name was remember platinum medal so platinum platinum medal copy and paste this this is gonna be an else this is also going to be an else. But for this, we don't need to do a check for the bronze. This just needs to be an else, not an else if like the others. So this will just check if it's greater than the gold medal score. This will check if it's greater than the silver medal score. And we would load in the gold medal as a result, the silver medal, and the bronze medal. And now that we've done that, we just need to set the position. So to do that, we just do underscore medal dot set position, and we're going to put 175. Again, these are magic numbers that I figured out work very well with the current structure of our application. So now we will just do underscore data window dot draw, and this would be medal. If we run this now, let's see what we get. So if I click play and I die, it says bronze. Is that bronze? Does that look bronze to me? Or has it done gold? Just confirm bronze metal file path. That looks bronze to me. I almost forgot what they look like then. So now silver is five so let's say if i were to do two still shows me the bronze one still got the old high score from the previous tutorial because i didn't delete any of the text files or overwrite the content so i'm going to get a score of six And it shows the silver medal. So there we go, that's the medal system implemented. As an extra task, we want you to test this a little further. We go to the definition file to test if the platinum, gold, and silver is working. Just change these values. So do something like 0, 1, 2, 3. You know, I have to try and get a score of 25 for gold or 100 for platinum. Silver is fine. To gain a score greater than 5, that's not long. For gold and platinum, that's way too ridiculous. You just need to modify these values. And if they work, fantastic. Then just set them to the final values that you want for your medal brackets. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on my educational platform, sonarlearning.co.uk. If you want to check out the source code from this video as well, and the source code from every other part in this course, there will be a GitHub link attached to this video. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.